now be popping into existence once again. Today we are playing Ace Attorney Investigations Collection. This game was sent to me by Capcom, so thank you very much for that. We'll be checking out today. This is my first Ace Attorney game. Big news! Big time! I'm excited to see what it's like. I've heard a lot of goofy things about it. So we can choose between Investigation and Investigation is 2. Okay, I think those are, those are our two options. Oh, when you have episode select, we're gonna just go new game. I'll just start on the first one. Oh, you can choose which art style you want. I'll check out the new HD style. I'm curious. It could look pretty neat. Let's begin! I'm using my mouse for this, so I just hope it can be used for most of the stuff in this game. <laughs> I will hope. March 14th, 1.16 a.m. Question mark, 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 Make sure the defendant is found guilty. What other choice do I have? That's the job of a prosecutor after all. That that may be true, but why? Why go this far? Sorry, maybe I wasn't clear enough, but a guilty verdict is all that matters to me. No matter what the cost. Dang. There aren't even a shooting. I'm a prodigy among prosecutors. Always have been, always will be. Be it fool yourself much. March 14, 205 a.m. Prosecutor's Building, 12th floor hallway. It's hard to believe that I've been away from my office for a whole month. I hope Detective Gunshoe has been keeping an eye on my office and keeping it clean. He means business with that briefcase. Boom, the door is unlocked. Detective Gumshoe? Hmm. What's this smell? It's very familiar. Blood? Whoa, what the? What's the meaning of this? I mean, not only did they kill him, but they knocked the books off the shelf, too. Like, these. Pushing it a little, buddy. Freeze. Identify yourself. Shush up. Huh. You've got some nerve committing murder in a prosecutor's office. into a multitude of cases and some very frantic and busy days. Hope you enjoy that vacation, buddy. March 14th, 2.56 a.m. High Prosecutor's Office, Room 1... Room 12.02. Got blood on the shelves, too. I finished photographing the victim's body, sir. Very well, please continue your investigation. Yes, sir. I have to say, this is like fancy office. Like, check out that stuff in the back. Like, the big bouquet, the samurai, the, uh, the big letter K for whatever reason. Kill. <laughs> ah! Mr. Edgeworth, sir! Are you okay, sir? Keep it down, detective. This is a crime scene. When I heard 
that a murder had taken place in your office, I ran up here straight away. This is Dick Gumshoe. He is a detective with a local presence. Presence? Pr precinct? What is that word? <laughs> and the one they assigned to handle this murder case for the time being. You're looking a little pale, sir. Are you hurt? No, I'm perfectly fine, however. And look what they did to your office! It's totally trashed! I'll say the culprit sullied my floor with dirt rather well. No one gets away with tracking mud into my office. Well, sounds like you're getting... <laughs> you're getting really burned up over this whole thing. This crime was committed in my office, so it is my responsibility to solve it. Ho oh, ho, that's just like you, Mr. Edgeworth. Okay, time to do some investigating. Agreed. Our first course of action is to gather relevant facts and leads. We must not overlook anything, no matter how small, if we are to find the truth. So we'll keep any leads or information we find etched in the forefront of my mind. Speaking of things that pique my curiosity. Why of all places did the murder... 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 murder <laughs> I did the murder occur in my office. Is it really coincidence that the murder took place in my office? Hmm, I get the nagging feeling that this is something important to keep in mind. I am so smart and intelligent, I have already found out that there is a reason this must have taken place in my office. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering that myself, sir. I mean, you can't really say it's just a coincidence, can you? No, not really, especially because of this. The key! With a keychain. It was kind of not much of a keychain, but... The key to your office? For security reasons, doors have keys. Thanks for telling me. What do you mean, sir? If you think about it carefully and use logic, it should become clear to you. Logic? By finding a connection between two pieces of information. And connecting them, new information is born. That is the end result of using logic. So how do you use it? First, I recall the information we've gathered with Q and then I connect them together with T. Now to use Q and T and recall the facts. Crime scene, my office. Mm-hmm. And the office key, mm-hmm. Connect them. Boom! Jigsaw puzzle complete. For security reasons, all prosecutor doors are outfitted with locks. Most homes are, too. Which means it would have been hard for the murderer and the victim to get in here. Ergo, it is impossible to dismiss the location of this crime as a mere coincidence. Yes, that's exactly what I was thinking, sir. There must be a reason why someone infiltrated my room. What was the killer after? Why did this happen in my office? What was the killer after? What did he want? You're really on the ball today, Mr. Edgeworth. That's some beautiful logic, sir. Yes, well, when you follow leads to their conclusion, only the truth remains. However, if the information doesn't line up properly, I may stray far from the truth as well. I may lose HP. <gasps> no, not in a visual novel game. But if I think carefully before piecing leads together, the logic should flow. Well, let's get started with our investigation, shall we? Yes, sir. Begin investigation. The basis of any good investigation is to examine everything, sir. I know that. And when I want to examine something, I simply use space when I'm next to it. Oh, if you ever feel lost and want to talk, just use T, okay? I'll give you great precise advice as an ace investigator, sir. Sorry, something's trailing if I have free time, I suppose. It's like, I know better than you do, silly. Let me investigate, uh, the body. I finished photographing the body, so it should be alright to examine this area. I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious-looking nook and cranny. Okay, well... Let's see here. Hmm. 
Hmm, there's blood all over his lower abdominal area. It looks like the bullet passed clean through his stomach area, sir. In other words, he was shot. Yup. And until the autopsy is done, I don't think we'll know much more than that. Please have the body sent to the morgue once they're done processing the crime scene. Bullet went clean through the victim's body. The body was found at 205. Are you going to be okay with keeping track of the evidence we find, sir? Of course! This is the safest way I know to keep track of it all! Alright, if you say so, he's like, my noggin! My noggin is the best way to keep track of all this! Trust me, it's quite powerful, you know? I keep all the evidence I find either in or with my organizer. When I want to re-examine a piece, I have but to press E to open my organizer. The organizer isn't only for evidence, I keep people's profiles on hand in it too. It's probably a good idea to make a habit of checking the facts often. Let's see here, when there's blood all over Aki and his hands. Oh, and there's like writing on the um... It doesn't say gum shoes, it's... I don't believe it! I packed those files on the, these shelves so tight! That's not even an earthquake to make them fall off, but just look at them! At this rate, the rest of the files won't be able to withstand an earthquake at all! A uh, problem to be sure. Well, once the investigation is over, we'll put them back up on the shelf. I think the issue is more that your name seems to be written on it, sir. Like, that seems to be more the problem, I'm afraid. Check out his shoes. There's nothing of interest. His shoes, man! His shoes! Look at them! Okay, I guess... What do we have here? Hey, I think I've seen one of these before. It's a police badge, detective. Oh, hey! I have the exact same thing, actually. What a coinky thing! Let's take a look inside. Police department. Name Buddy Faith. Rank detective. It would appear that our victim was a detective, just like you. But why was he here? Who knows? I think that area is examined. See, we do the little bit there. Does this count as... The files all over the floor, sir. They probably fell during the struggle between the victim and his killer. My files are mess pointing to a struggle between the victim and the killer. Oh, and I try so hard to keep the place flawless while you were away. I mean, that's just rendered all the time and effort I put in pointless. I don't recall ever asking you to clean my room. Well, I watered the flowers every day just like you requested, sir. I just added cleaning to the list as a weekend special. For about half a day every Saturday, I'd come in and clean this place until it sparkled. Does he have a life? <laughs> uh, maybe not. Let's go over here. Watch out for the teacup fragments there, sir. Yeah. That killer is going to pay this tea set! Yikes, you're really mad over this! This tea set is very dear to my heart and can only be bought in England. It costs more than your whole month's paycheck. What? I feel like the killer has wasted one of my monthly paychecks. Mm, what are these? I guess maybe checking the picture could be... How's it coming along? Please, I need absolute silence. Fingerprint lifting is a delicate art. Well, I never... Well, I never... And then this is on the floor. What have we here? Could this perhaps be the murder weapon? If so, it would mean that the killer made their escape after disposing of their gun here. I think I've seen one of these before. Hmm... Curtain line me used to wear. Oh, I know. I was issued the exact same model. I think. Ugh, detective. I don't really like guns all that much. I mean, they're really dangerous. But now that I think about it, you do see this model around the precinct a lot, sir. I don't use mine much except in emergencies, so that's why I didn't recognize it. So it's the same type of revolver as the ones used by this precinct's detectives. Hmm, I seem to have gathered a few pieces of pertinent information. Now to calmly use some logic and figure out if any of them are connected to each other. I guess we'll have a look. What about this table though? They even knocked over your chest set! I had it all set up ready for when you got back. I figured we could play a few games. I had no idea you were interested in chess. 
I'm actually pretty good at checkers, so I thought I'd give Chess a try. Hmm, in that case, I suppose I can set some time aside after we solve this case. So I don't expect the games to tax my mental acuity much. <laughs> so full of himself. Alright, so... You called, sir? The info I've gathered. I seem to have picked up a few good leads. Oh, so now you're gonna do that thing you do with all the inf that information, right? What are you babbling about? The brainy thing you were talking about just a few minutes ago, sir. Um, logic. You said that you can look at all of your leads and info by pressing Q. Then you pick the ones that seem related with space and connect them with T. That's your way of investigating, right, sir? Yes, which is why this exercise in explaining my own method to me was unnecessary. Okay, then how about I explain my logic to you next? That is even more unnecessary. Alright, yeah, I know. He's right. Alright, let's see if we can put pieces together. Why did this happen in my office? The killer after signed of a struggle, pointing to a struggle between the victim and the victim was a detective. Um, found that the crime scene is the same model used by those. I mean, the fact that he was a... The victim's a detective and the revolver being... You know... The same one that the detectives use would connect, right? Right? The revolver the standard model used by detectives. Could it have belonged to a recently departed? Detective Gumshoe, could you please thoroughly check the victim's body one more time? Yes, sir. On it now, sir. Excuse me, pal. Let's see. What have we got here? Mr. Edward, sir. This guy is wearing a gun holster. Oh, so it appears that our killer somehow managed to take the victim's gun from him. The victim's revolver data jotted down in my journal. Can we assume that the gun is a murder weapon? It was issued to the victim. Let's see what else you can find out about this revolver. As I always say, you've got to look really carefully at each piece of evidence. You can use this to rotate an object. There's no such thing as a bad angle. And use this to zoom in and out to get at the nitty gritty. Alright. Check this out. This one. Oh, we can rotate it. It looks like only one round was fired from this. Wow, so the killer killed the Vic with just one shot after wrestling the gun from him? Sounds like the guy knew how to handle a gun, huh? Mr. Edgeworth? We have no proof for now, but that is a distinct possibility. I guess this is about all we're going to find out. We should send the body to a... Jim! Why, oh why, how could this have happened to a guy like you? Hey, are you, are you the, are you the evil guy? Are you alright? Don't touch me! Leave me alone! Just let me be! Sorry, but I can't do that. The investigation is still ongoing, so please refrain from touching the body. The body! The body! Don't talk about him like he's just some lump of flesh. Look at him! Jim looks like he's just turned in for the night. I'm sure, just in a bloodstained suit, pal. Where are my manners? Aren't you that prosecutor? Why, yes, I am. I'm Jacquees Portsman Prosecutor. Jim here, what's my partner in crime busting? I'm Miles Edgeworth, and like you, I'm also a prosecutor. Detective Dickum Shoe, sir. So you're Miles Edgeworth? I guess this is your office. Yes, that is correct. Then it was you! You're the one who killed Jim! Hey, don't go jumping around to confusions, pal. Just calm down, okay? I will not! I know how things work about here. High prosecutor office stores all the locks built into them. And only the owner of the office is the key to his or her own office door. That is correct. However, I was not the one who killed your partner. Yeah, Mr. Edgeworth has been overseas on a business trip this whole time, pal. And the key to the door was with me the entire time, okay? So the only one who could get in here was me. Ho ho ho! Wait. That means... I'm not sure what that means. So it was you then, you're Jim's killer. No way, pal, you got it all wrong. Everyone calm down. Mr. Portsman, correct if you're a real prosecutor, you should know how to stay corrected. The investigation has only just begun. Isn't it too early to be drawing conclusions? 
All right, I get the point. You're right, my mistake. I tend to get a little too hot-headed sometimes. You sure are one cool customer, though, Mr. Ezworth. I've heard all the rumors about you. You're the great genius prosecutor. You're something of a legend, you know? Anyway, let's call a truce and work together, okay? Now how about a handshake to seal the deal? A pleasure to work with you. You guys were conducting your investigation, right? Sorry for barging in like that. Carry on then. It's your room after all. Thank you. I intend to. I just want a little more time to say goodbye to Jim. You there. Sir. I want you to capture this scene on film for me. My final farewell to my partner Jim. <laughs> I should probably give them some space. Alright, I think we'll end off for here now. But thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I will see you next time. Like, comment, subscribe. 3, 2, 1, poo-poo!